When it comes to learning about your body and your health, there are no stupid questions. Here on You Can Ask That, youth will ask sexual health educators some of the questions you might be too shamed to ask yourself. Yeah, that's the inside. Lift it up a little bit. What is the worst sexual disease? STI. I think that's a pretty complicated mm -hmm. question because I think any infection left untreated can cause serious problems in your body, any sex infection left untreated. Um, so I guess if people are getting um, tested and treated, then things like chlamydia and gonorrhea are probably less serious. Um, oh. But then there's other infections that you can't cure. Yeah, but then having said that, the, the higher instances or um, mm. how many times that you're actually getting gonorrhea or chlamydia um, is no good um, with regards to fertility. So it's really good that people are presenting, but I really don't think that there's a hierarchy of which is the worst STI to get through to which is the least one to get. Mm. Mm. What is popping the cherry? <laughs> popping the cherry? I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> well, um, popping the cherry is a slang word that's used to describe when people um, lose their virginity or when they have sex for the first time. Um, and the reason that they call it that is because um, there's a bit of a, a myth, I think, that um, all women have a hymen in place um, and so the hymen is just a thin piece of skin inside the vagina and it often doesn't cover the whole part of the vagina um, yeah and the hymen can break that thin piece of skin can break or stretch uh, from from normal activity when girls are growing up so from bike riding or trampolining um, and so it's a bit of a myth that the hymen breaks so that there's definitely blood for everybody when they have sex for the first time um, so some people will have light bleeding, um, but if that doesn't happen to you the first time you or your partner have sex, then that's something that you shouldn't be worried about. That's totally normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what is the best contraption? Contraception. Contraception, yeah. <laughs> that depends on the individual, but there's the implanon. Uh, there's the pill, there's a depot injection. Uh, all different types of contraception and the reason that there's so many different types is because different um, types work better for different people and I think really it's not up to us to tell you which one the best one is it's about you working with your healthcare provider um, and finding the one that's right for you. Also helps with family planning, baby spacing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but it's really important to know that the only way to actually prevent STIs is to also use condoms as well. So, yeah, use condoms and contraception. That was our last episode of You Can Ask That. But if you have any other burning questions, just PM our page at Young Deadly Free and we'll try to get back to you.